Hello everyone, welcome back to Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2024. This morning it is Saturday, December 23rd, so Christmas is almost here. I've had a pretty busy week, a little overwhelming at times, but happy to be here, happy to be alive and healthy, and looking forward to spending time with the family at Christmas. And I know I haven't uploaded in a few days, I apologize, like I said, it's been busy. Going to jump right into this video. And uh, <laughs> before we start anything, I'll just say, and I don't work in retail, by the way, but I know what it's like to work in the public. And please consider those who work in the public during these busy times. Because if, if it's someone like me, I have a hard time understanding human behavior and it's it's uh, probably the most difficult thing I've had to do in my life is work in the public. And um, just a little saying I've come up with is, if you're adding to the noise and the speed of this world, turn down your engine a little bit. Because... If you're a person like me that prefers a more quiet and subtle world, working in the public is difficult, especially when trying to figure out what others expect of you and you're trying to do your best. It's pretty difficult. At least at least it is for me, anyway. We'll jump right into this, though. Uh, if you remember last time, we switched to a grind offense, and it seemed to really really help us. We went 8-4 and four in 12 games in the last video under the grind offense. And I think that's what I'll stick with, at least for the time being. Um, trade deadline is coming up, so I don't know if I'll do 12 games in this video. I may just play until the trade deadline and then do a trade deadline video on its own tomorrow. I should get time to do one tomorrow. Um... Maybe I'll even work the trade deadline into the end of this video. We'll see how things are going. I don't even know if I'll do any trades if we keep playing as well as we are. If we can make the playoffs, I'd be happy with this season. And maybe letting just... But the thing about it is, is if we're going to get rid of Richardson, just letting him walk wouldn't help us that much in terms of money because his contract is actually pretty cheap for as good of a player as he is. So, I still think it's better that we trade him and try to get something better. So, maybe we'll do that in this video. Just my thoughts coming out of my mouth right now. But anyway, let's jump into this. Now, we got the Rangers in this first game. And... Uh, they are a five and a half point favorite. We still got Asani, Lopez, and Barnes all out. Well, at least I, I guess they'll all be out. Looks like nagging injuries. Let's go ahead and make sure. I think I always said this before the in the last video, but I just always want to make sure. And it's it's set, so we're good. All right, let's go ahead. Okay. I didn't expect to lose that game, but not at full strength, so I'm not going to look at that. Just one day and all those guys are, are healthy, so maybe the next game will be better, hopefully. Hoping after Christmas, I don't know if I can do it immediately. But hoping after Christmas uh, I can start playing, keep playing this game, but keep try to play other games as well. Uh, maybe some classic platformers or some classic RPGs, whatever I can find that that I like to play. We got the racers next, and no, no one's injured, so let's go ahead and make sure these lineups are set. Make sure it's. Make sure we're optimized for this next game. Yeah, we 
put Richardson here. And let's play this game. And we lost two games. But we just lost that game by one point. Sometimes with close games, it's it's just like I mean, you could have won, you could have lost. We have a team incident report. Richardson and Hargrove were in an argument. That's not that's not ideal. Let's check out Richardson still happy. And Hargrove is, he's a little upset, but he's kind of expendable as well, so. And I'm still leaning more toward, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta deal one of these guys, I think, either McCleary or Richardson. The thing about McCleary is he's 35, so he's going to be hard to get. He's going to be hard to deal, I think, because a lot of teams just aren't attracted to someone who's already 35. Richardson's still pretty young. I mean, he's 22, so and he's got great potential. I mean, that's a lot of. He's a he's a player with a lot of worth. That's just. Kind of sitting there on on our team, and maybe we can draft a good backup center or something if we can get a good draft pick out of him. At the same time, though, you could just keep him as a backup center. So I mean, there's all different ways you can you can look at, at Richardson's situation. Let's check. Uh, Got one injured player. It's it's being it, unfortunately. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, we won that game. Trying to get back on track. Even without being it, we won that game. So that's that's pretty good. I want to check out the box score. So it being Christmas time, uh, what's some of what's some of your all's favorite Christmas songs? Um, I, my my favorite Christmas song personally is well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's one that a lot of people don't bring up, and it's really really good. Um, is Jim Croce. It doesn't have to be that way. It's a great Christmas song. I would advise everyone to look that song up. I, nobody talks about it, and it's even if, even if you're like a Jim Croce guy, which I am. Uh, it's not a song that people automatically point to when they think of that guy, and it's it's one of my top five Jim Croce songs. And I like a lot of his a lot of the music he put out. We got Aaron Fordson here with 28 points, seven assists, four rebounds, continuing to play well. Barnes didn't score a single point in that game. But happy to still have Fordson around. Hopefully, we can get him to stick around this offseason and extend that contract. Yeah, he's still happy. Look at the point guards. They are all upset. Oh, no. Doing the best I can. Doing the best that I can. And we got freedom next, and we got three injured players. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Since you stole. So Lopez are out and Barnes are all injured. Goodness, 72 points. Well, this video so far hasn't worked out with the grind offense for like one and three so far, I think. Are the same three injured players. <clears throat> Yeah, it's the same three. All right, won that game. It's a struggle. Let's see, let's go back a day. Aaron Ford's an again player of the game. Sonny with nine, who doesn't normally start. Almost had a double-double. He had ten rebounds. Ramsey with 11. Double-double for being it with 20 and 17. Maybe he should have been player of the game. You know, 10 of 11, I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, Fortson shot 17 three-pointers. I made three of them. I think Bennett should have been the player of that game, if you're asking me. Um, I want to check it out real quick. Let's try to keep an eye on this morale. I'm going to compliment uh, being it. Because I think he just had a good game and maybe he feels underappreciated. No, I wrong. I clicked the wrong thing. Hmm. Let's do it again. There we go. You're doing a good job. Keep it up. Man, I don't feel like my compliments are really having any effect. All right, let's keep going. And keep going. No games on this day. Oh, a bunch of trades. Did I miss the trade deadline? Hopefully we can still... Okay. I was thinking the trade deadline was like still a week away. What does this say? Tomorrow is the trade deadline. So we yeah, let's go ahead and just... I'm not going to play, I'm not going to simulate any more dates on this video. Just going to um, pause right here on as far as playing games. I skipped right over that email, by the way. Our job security is still 100%. So, for a team that struggled, it seems like the owner is pretty laid back. So, maybe that's a good thing. Um, gosh, my head's spinning right now. Okay, inbox. Steve Bennett and Marquise Herbert were arguing. So, we have Bennett, whether Bennett's happy or not, we have him locked up for like the next three seasons. So, I, I want him to be happy. I mean, but I don't really, Herbert can just, he can get over himself. Um, go, ahead, go ahead and look at some possible trades. So the two players I've thought most about, really three, is obviously Richardson and McCleary and Colin. Because Colin is 
I like Cullen so far as a rookie point guard. He's got nine and a half points, four almost five assists a game, 3.4 rebounds. Gets a steal. Field goal percentage is good. Three-point percentage is good. Free throw percentage is good. He's an efficient, solid point guard as a rookie, but he's not clash. He's not uh, – him and the coach are clashing. So – I don't know how keeping him long term is going to turn out. He might decide to leave after next season, but we still got him for next season. So I think my thoughts on Colin right now is just to keep him until next season. He'll still be young next season, still be a very worthy piece to trade away. So go ahead and keep Colin the rest of this season. McCleary, if we get rid of Richardson. McCleary is still going to be valuable for us for the rest of this season. I don't know what his value is past this season. And let him, let him, letting him walk at the end of this season is going to clear up $23 million in, in salary. So I think we'll keep McCleary and Cullen. We'll let McCleary walk at the end of the season, bring Cullen back for at least another year, and go ahead and try to deal Richardson, who's only – he's kind of wasting away on our bench. And if I'm not mistaken, right, I want to choose one more thing. We, we can't re-sign him. We can't extend his contract. We can re-sign him at the end of the season if he wants to come back. But we can't extend his contract. And there's always that, yeah, there's no available actions, as you can see, on, on his contract actions. And there's always that risk that if you – you can't assume a guy's going to come back, even if he's happy. He may want to go somewhere else. He may want to go to a program that's more likely to win. I mean, we've been struggling. Even we could, if you know, even if we can afford to pay him a bunch of money, he may want to be in a winning situation. And um, actually, can you check that? Let's see. Well, actually, winning isn't very important to him. So. I don't know. Maybe he would want to come back. He seems happy even if he's wasting on the bench. I'm going to go ahead and I wonder if we can shop McCleary and keep Richardson as a backup. Let's shop McCleary and see what we can get. I'm going to add him to this. Okay. Let's select a team that we'll go with the Eagles for right now. They're not they're not very well can I don't think they can hold Richardson. We would have to take a player worth quite a bit ourselves. Let's pick a team that's got some room to work with that's also not very good. Boston's they can't really work with anything. Man, all these teams are below their cap status. Denver, no. Detroit. It may be hard to deal with McCleary if most of these teams can't afford him. I really wish we could we could tie Richardson up for a few more seasons. I don't know why his contract is not allowing it. But most of these teams that would have a good a good draft pick are um, really over their cap status already. 
they're not too far over their cap status. Gosh, I don't want to bring a player on though that's Got Joey Reed here. He's 31. Okay, we can't just automatically deal this because they can't afford it. And even if they're in Joey Reed, they're still can't, aren't going to be able to afford it. Hmm. to go through every team and see who can afford it and who can't. Can anybody afford you? <laughs> Maybe not. You might be the team using the least amount of cap space. It kind of looks that way. Maybe that's why our owner is so happy. We're not all this. Let me look at $104 million. It's insane. I mean, I know they're good, but my goodness. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to unload this guy. Nobody can afford him. And even with Richardson, we would have to take, if we could get a draft pick, we would have to take somebody worth equal value. Continue clicking through these teams, but it seems like nobody has cap room to work with. And if that's the case, honestly, I think I'll just keep... Okay, the Metros are only like a million dollars over the cap. And they're not very good. See, this upcoming draft, though, would be... We did the 2024 draft... Um, earlier, right? So these aren't current. These are next year's picks, 2026. They've already dealt their picks away. Am I right about that? Yeah, this is the 20, 2024 season. We're in the 2025 season. So the upcoming draft is 2025. So they've already dealt their picks. See if you click another team. Yeah, see, we want 2025 picks for this upcoming draft. So the Metros don't even have any draft picks to offer for this upcoming draft. So really, that's that's not an option either. I'm always trying to deal for these first round draft picks. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you're gonna be able to find anybody. Everybody's over the cap, their cap space. So even if we dealt for a first round draft pick, we would have to take somebody. What about Utah here? They're only three million under the cap. Do they have? They still have their first round draft pick for this upcoming season. We've already looked at, at them with Joey Reed. He didn't McClinton play for us last season? Yeah. There's old McClinton. I 
I don't know about bringing him back. Also, his, his salary is $19 million. That's a lot for a two-and-a-half star player, if you ask me. I don't know about bringing over a center who's just going to do the same thing Richardson's doing. This guy's three and a half. He's only 19, so he's pretty young. Actually, he was just a rookie this year. So, Richardson has more potential than him. Is there any way we could deal Richardson for... I might even want to attempt to pronounce this guy's name. We'll call him Yehu. Richardson for Yehu. Is cap legal. Advantage is is the Blues, but I also want a draft pick. It is to our advantage. We are very far apart on a deal. <laughs> so they don't like this deal. Hmm. Who else can I throw in to sweeten this deal? I can't just give them Richardson for a draft pick because they won't be able to afford it. I don't think, anyway. If we take he who off. Yeah, they won't be able to afford that. We could make this trade, uh, give them Richardson for a first round draft pick and Joey Reed. One thing about Joey Reed is his contract also runs out at the end of the season. He's also already, if you remember, we looked at this, he's 31. So he's also getting older. Advantage is them. But we'll get somebody, we'll get rid of Richardson, and McCleary will let walk. This pick should be a good pick. I mean, they're not a very good team. If things keep going this way, I don't think Richardson is going to change their team overnight. So I think they'll still be a bad team at the end of the season. Richardson isn't doing a lot for us. So making this deal... We get rid of a good potential backup center for the future. We're also we're, we're getting Joey Reed, so we're going to be able to finish up this season still well on centers. We still got Bennett coming back, and we can do whatever we want with that first round draft pick as far as drafting a player in this upcoming draft. And we're still going to have a ton of cap money to work with to try to get a better center. If, if possible, in the, in the free agency, especially with Lady McCleary walk. So I think this is what I'm going to try to do. If this doesn't work, if they say no on this trade, I'm just going to keep going, to be honest with you, because most of these teams we can't deal with, they're over their cap limit. And I don't want to, I don't want to bring on a player who's, Contract is worth a ton of money. We could even let Reed walk at the end of this season here. And if you get if you let Reed walk and let McClary walk, I think there's I think it's more than possible to bring on a couple of seniors who are more affordable and are also better. So we got we got plenty of money to work with. If you let these two walk. So let's go ahead and try to make this trade. If they say no, I'm just gonna move move on. We'll end the video. We'll say Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Although I should be back before the New Year.
I'd even do a video tomorrow on Christmas Eve if I get time. And we'll just end the video. And will they say yes? Trade accepted. They actually accepted the trade. So, okay. Well, now we got another first round draft pick. And we got a new player in Joey Reed who might not stay but a couple of months. Wow. Almost didn't expect them to take that. I feel pretty good about that trade. Let's go ahead and look at our team now. Wait a minute. Dashboard. So Richardson is no longer with us. Almost expected him to turn that trade down, but we got Bennett, McCleary, and Reed, at least for the time being, in our center spots. And we got a we got two first round draft picks this season in this draft coming up. So I'm excited. We should be able to get two good players out of that. And we should have a good amount of a good amount of cap space to work with, especially compared to these other teams. My goodness. I mean, maybe it's the frugal frugal minded mindset I was brought up with, but gosh. These other teams love to spend money. Anyway, let's go ahead and set the depth chart for the next game. That way in the next video we can just jump right into it. No one's injured, which is great. I wonder where Reed's going to fit in. Well, they're trying to play him the same way they played Richardson at that four spot. I don't like that. Uh, let's put Barnes in. We'll keep McCleary as the sixth man. Reed will be the seventh man. Lopez, Asani. And this is kind of our new lineup now that Richardson's gone. And I'll check one more thing before we turn the video off. We got the Coyotes coming up next. And I'll just look at the game preview real quick. We're actually a favorite. We are. It is our home game, but one and a half point favorite against the Coyotes. I feel good about the trade we made. Richardson wasn't doing a whole lot for us. I think... As far as the rest of the season, Reed's going to do just as good as Richardson was doing. And we got a first round draft pick out of it from a team that's going to be pretty bad. I think that's going to be, I think it's going to turn into a good player for us. So with that, we'll end this video. As I said, try your best to have a happy, safe uh, Christmas weekend. And see you next time.